Hello everyone! Today we're going to have a quick chat about Bigfoot. These doodles are going to be in a video that's coming out shortly where Bigfoot is mentioned a few different times. It didn't feel right to just skim over Bigfoot though. Bigfoot is far too famous and popular of a cryptid to only describe a few of the times he was spotted in the US. So here's a brief but more detailed history of the lore around Mr. Bigfeet. Bigfoot, or Sasquatch, which the creature is sometimes called depending on the area it can be found in, is often described as a large and muscular ape-like creature with long arms and no visible neck. The creature is covered in thick dark brown or black hair. They can be anywhere from 6 to 9 feet tall, though in some cases anywhere from 10 to 15 feet tall depending on the story. Many descriptions of Bigfoot find it to be more human than ape-like in the face and the way that it walks. Bigfoot is also described to have eyes that glow red or yellow at night. The name Bigfoot comes from claims of giant footprints often found near areas where sightings have occurred. Some claimed footprints being up to 28 inches long and 8 inches wide. And excuse me, you're telling me that Bigfoot has 2 foot long feet. Damn, shopping for shoes must totally suck for him. That's twice as long as the world record for the longest feet. <laughs> Jeez. Part of the idea of making these videos is just letting my brain go down Google holes when I have questions. Did you know that Bigfoot has a wiki feet? Okay, so I looked it up and he is on wiki feet with a rating of 3.3 out of 5, which I'll be honest is lower than I thought it would be, but there's n also no pictures of him. There used to be one, but it's been deleted. I don't really know what to do with this fact, but it's the funniest thing I've learned in a while. Okay, let's move on. Um, it's also claimed by some people who have experienced sightings that Bigfoot is super stinky. Which, some people believe Bigfoot and the skunk ape cryptids may be the same thing if not close cousins. Creatures with similar descriptions to Bigfoot date back hundreds and even a thousand years ago and can be found in folklore and old artworks in many cultures around the world, such as this one right here, which is speculated to possibly be Bigfoot from Painted Rock in Tulare County, California. This painting depicts a group of Bigfoot. The large one is called Hairy Man, and this painting is believed to be between 500 and 1000 years old. The general descriptions are wild men that are super hairy, other than their hands, feet, and faces, just like our friend Bigfoot. Some people also speculate that the Yeti is a subspecies of Bigfoot. This list of creatures that also sound like Bigfoot just keeps going on. Other creatures speculated to be the same species or like species are the Almas, the Hybagon, and the Naugrung. The Skunk Ape, Sasquatch, and Swamp Stalker of Bogey Creek, the Yaren, and the Yowie. I'm gonna be honest, I probably butchered a couple of those because I forgot to look them up before I started recording, but can't fault me for that too much. It's a lot of, a lot of vowels and consonants. And honestly, despite a few differences in description, I agree with the possibility of these all being the same type of creature. It's really interesting to find Mr. Bigfoot all across the world, and it also makes the stories surrounding the cryptid feel more credible than if he were only found in one specific place. The more sightings there are, the more possible this Schrodinger's cat of a creature could be real. Bigfoot has had reported sightings since the 1800s in America, and many indigenous peoples of North America, mostly the Pacific Northwest, have tales of mysterious hairy beings and creatures living inside the forests around them, these stories dating back much further than anything in records. The Stahelis, which are an indigenous people from the lower mainland region of British Columbia, Canada, have stories about the Saskets, which is also where the name Sasquatch came from when the area was anglicized. It literally means hairy man. A standout story in Bigfoot lore is from 1958. A man named Jerry Crew worked for a logging company as a bulldozer operator in Humboldt County, California. 
He found a set of 16-inch long human-like footprints in the thick mud in Six Rivers National Forest. He told his co-workers about it, and many of them told him they had seen something similar while working for the logging company at other job sites, as well as some strange incidents such as a 450-pound oil drum being moved without explanation. The workers at the logging company started calling the culprit Bigfoot because of the tracks, and they were pretty sure they were being pranked in the beginning. Crew eventually contacted a reporter at a local newspaper, and Andrew Gonzali interviewed the lumber workers and wrote an article about the interviews and the footprints and linked the strange tales to local urban legends of big hairy men in the woods, deciding to use the same name of Bigfoot to describe them as the loggers did. When the article was published in the Humboldt Times newspaper, crew appeared on the front holding up a plaster cast of the large footprints. The story spread and gained popularity pretty quickly, and Gonzali started receiving correspondence from major news outlets like the New York Times and Los Angeles Times. This spread the term Bigfoot and has named Willow Creek in Humboldt County and Northern California as a whole as the Bigfoot capital of the world. Though this is the case for how Bigfoot became so popular in the first place, many years later, in 2002, it was revealed that a co-worker of Jerry Cruz named Ray Wallace may have had a hand in the tracks. Wallace's family had found a bunch of large carved wooden feet in his basement. The family claimed that Wallace had been making all of the footprints at his job sites. Speaking of explanations to potential sightings being hoaxes, there are a number of things that people believe may explain what quote-unquote Bigfoot is. Bears is one explanation. American black bears can walk upright on their back legs and when standing this way are usually around 5 to 7 feet tall, and grizzly bears are bigger, and when they stand or walk on their back legs they can be 8 to 9 feet tall. Both of these bears, full standing height, fit well into the height descriptions of Bigfoot that are more commonly talked about. Escaped apes is another potential misidentification that is often brought up. People can confuse chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans that have escaped from zoos, circuses, and even exotic pets that were once privately owned as Bigfoot. This possibility is often brought up for the skunk ape because scientists believe that the humid climates it is often spotted in would be better at supporting populations of apes. Though I don't believe that there are any reports of actual groups of apes being loose, this is just overall speculation. And I mean, I feel like if you saw uh, some kind of ape in the woods, it probably would be swinging from the trees too, not just running around on the ground, right? Or is that just me? Humans have been mistaken for Bigfoot many times, and some of these cases have caused injuries. There's a case out of Oklahoma from 2013, where a 21-year-old man was arrested for accidentally shooting his friend in the back while they were hunting for Bigfoot in the woods. There are other accounts of people being shot or killed for being mistaken for Bigfoot as well. If you know any furries, try to keep them out of the woods when want them getting shot for being mistaken for Bigfoot. Just let them have their hobby in peace. Some people speculate that wild men or hermits can also be mistaken for Bigfoot, which honestly, this kind of sounds scarier. I don't like the idea of people just hiding out in the woods rather than it being some creature we don't know all that much about. Bigfoot just chilling in the woods isn't as spooky to me because if you're out in the woods, there's already all kinds of animals in the forest that you can't see. And this goes from birds and lizards to big cats like mountain lions. What's one more animal to add to the bunch? Most of them can be dangerous if you aren't paying attention already. As someone who enjoys being in the woods, that doesn't creep me out like the idea of a person watching you from behind some trees. That just sounds so icky. I'd also quickly like to talk about the Patterson Gimlin film. This is the most well-known footage of Bigfoot. It was recorded on October 20th, 1967 by Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin in an area of Northern California called Bluff Creek. It's a 59 second long clip from a video the two men recorded on their trip. The clip is of Bigfoot walking through the forest and looking over his shoulder at the man recording. It's where the famous pose Bigfoot is often found in art and merch originates from. A lot of people speculate if this is a hoax as well, but given the quality of that old camera from the 60s, 
I can tell you now, we'll never know the definitive truth. Though most Bigfoot sightings are more than likely hoaxes, many people still believe that Bigfoot could possibly be real. And you know what? Wouldn't that be cool? There's still so much of the world and universe that we as a species do not understand or know about yet. We are constantly learning new things even though we've been here for thousands of years. And hey, it could be a possibility that folklore and old stories about cryptids and creatures could be real. I mean, personally, I'm more inclined to believe in creatures that there are long histories and folk stories about anyway. There are so many sightings of Bigfoot and all of those people can't be lying. I guess what I'm saying is I'm hopeful and optimistic that some more interesting creatures like Bigfoot are actually out there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Tell me in the comments if you believe in Bigfoot or not. And until next time, bye!